Okay, now that you've got your virtual box machine created, we just start the virtual machine. In the in the earlier demonstration, we added the CD-ROM to the disk, so that's what it's booting into now. Choose your language, uh, the time, uh, the, so the time and currency format. So there's uh, the region that you live in. So we'll choose uh, English United States for this. Click next and install. In this video, we're going to select uh, Windows Web Server 2008 R2, the full installation. So that will give you the full uh, user interface, a full graphical user interface, uh, which is what most people are used to. Uh, read through the terms and conditions, accept the license terms. Now, using a new hard disk or a new computer, is select the customer advanced options. It will show you the disk. Uh, if you have other disks, choose the disk that you want to install your operating system into uh, and click Next. And this can take um, you know, 10, 10 minutes maybe, uh, depending on the speed of your computer. So uh, we'll just speed this one up a little bit. So after your system's rebooted, it will go through the process of setting up the registry.
So now the build is finished, collecting driver information, and it will reboot one final time. Okay, so after it's finished, uh, finished the reboot, uh, you'll need to provide a password. So this is the default password for your administrator account on the computer. Now, it will need to be a complex password, nothing overly hard. Um, so let's try this. Okay, so we've supplied the uh, new administrator's password. You confirm the password by typing in again, and uh, we'll go through loading on as the administrator. Okay, so after the computer's built, you want to, to give it a new name, uh, something that's easier to work with than uh, that big long one there. Click change. I already typed one, so I'm going to confirm that. I uh, will call that one web. Okay. Click OK. I need to restart the computer before the new name is available. Okay, now, um, control on Windows, if you use the right control button, and press control and then delete, that's the same as control or delete. Otherwise, you can use a shortcut, which is here. If you're clicking machine from the menu, and clicking that one there is the same as doing control or your host button, and delete. So type in a password. Okay, so when the machine's finished loading, uh, the, it will always open up this window unless you tick this box here. So do not show me the console at logon, uh, which I do, and close 
and we're good to go. So don't forget you can subscribe to the channel um, and in the next video we'll be adding some features to our Windows installation to host web servers. Okay.